tips. Premiere. In this Premiere Pro quick tip, I wanted to show you how you can go about globally disabling any effects that you have applied to the clips in your timeline. Now, the first question that you may have is why would I want to globally disable effects in my timeline? And the answer is pretty simple, speed. So the more effects that you add to your clips in the timeline, the more taxing it is on your system resources and it bogs everything down and it can really slow down the entire editing process. So instead of going through each and every clip in your timeline and disabling each effect, you can click one button and disable them all at the same time. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here in this particular timeline, we have a bunch of different effects that are being applied uh, to the clips, uh, to the clips as well as the adjustment layers in this timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything here by shift clicking mute, it mutes every track that I have. So as I hit play here, you can see uh, all of the effects and you can kind of start to see how things are slowing down and getting a little chunky and a little chuggy. And that's because there are really a lot of effects that are applied um, to the clips, as you can see here with the little orange marker on the effects here, as well as all of the adjustment layers that I have on top of uh, these things. And I have a pretty beefy computer um, to be able to handle all of this with a really, really, with a really powerful graphics card as well. So if you need to work on the edit and adjust the timing of some of the clips, it's going to be a pain in the neck to do that with all of the effects that are applied. So in order to facilitate this, Premiere has a handy global effects mute button right here. And as soon as I click that button, you're going to see all of those effects that were initially applied have now been disabled. Now they're not gone. They're still there. Uh, they're just muted. So we don't see them in the timeline. So now when I hit the play button, you can see everything is playing through pretty quickly, pretty snappy. Uh, so we can adjust any of the little uh, edits that we need to adjust here. If you don't see the button in the control panel below the program monitor of your layout, simply go over here to this little plus icon right all the way over here and click this. Now, since I already have it in my control panel right here, I'm gonna click on it and drag it out. This is what it would look like without the icon there. So click on the plus button, and then we're gonna look for this little effects button right here, and we're gonna drag it into our control panel, and we're gonna plop it down right there. We're gonna hit okay, and now we have it there. So now, if I click it, now all of the effects are enabled, and if I click it again, we're gonna disable all of the effects. And that's it there. That's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, if you got value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also, if you have any questions about Premiere or editing, definitely let me know in the comments below. I read every comment that comes in and if I need to make another video to respond, I can totally do that. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next video.